today I have filmed a nursery tour for you. I gave you all an insight on Weston's nursery. I hope you all enjoy it just as much as I do. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay guys, so you walk in his room. I'm standing at the door. And when you first walk in, here is our adorable little gray and white chevron glider um, with the little foot as well. I struggled a lot trying to figure out which glider that I wanted um, because I was going back and forth whether I wanted chevron or not due to it being a boy's room. But I went ahead and got it and I'm so glad I did. It just gives the room a little extra pop instead of just a plain gray. On that same wall, we got a super cute uh, wall decal that has a big W with Weston across with white and navy blue. I am absolutely obsessed. That's actually the only thing on this wall because when we open the door, it basically, let me show you. His door opens to the inside, so it's more or less in the middle of the wall with the door open. But I'm going to shut that because Sean has less than his sleep in the living room. <clears throat> anyway, so that's the first wall to your right when you walk into his bedroom. On the wall that you face when you walk in, here is his adorable curtain. Beside that window, he has this adorable little well that says Baby Weston on it. Um, basically, the well came from Hobby Lobby, and then the decal was made and put on there. And then beside that, <clears throat> it says, I will always love you. I wish that would focus. There we go. So that is what I have to the right of the window. It's super cute. And I didn't say at the beginning, but he does have a well theme in his nursery. So you will see that a lot throughout this video. Beside the crib and changing table, I have a wipe warmer on top of a three-tier storage. This top basket. The top basket has all of his socks and his little house shoes. Are these not adorable? I'm in love. But yeah, that's all of his socks. The second one has his books, which I really like because it's right next to the glider. And so I can grab one at night if I want to read him a book. And then on the bottom one is his little box of shoes. Okay. Now to our crib. So our crib has the changing table attached to it. Um, which is really cool because also on this side here, if I move that storage I was showing you, it has storage in here as well. And I keep his wipes there. Um, so I can refill the white warmer with it but here's the changing table I really really like the changing table being on the crib reason being is because I have noticed when people have it on top of the dresser that you have to change them sideways and I really like this because I can change them forward so under the changing table is three drawers I thought I would show you all what's in those drawers in the first drawer, it says where I keep his little, this little basket of diapers so I can just grab those while I'm changing him. And then I keep Destin cream um, in there as well in case he has any diaper rash. The next drawer has his bed sheets in it, his clean ones. And then the bottom drawer has his changing pad covers as well as his boppy covers in it. To the left of that is the crib, which is probably one of my favorite parts of his whole room. <clears throat> my aunt made his bedding set. So it says Weston again, like his decal on the wall. And it's that navy gray and white. And I'm obsessed. Then I have, it's really distorted probably on the camera. But it's like a chevron, navy and white chevron sheet. <clears throat> and then in the corner, it's just a little stuffed whale. Which is just too cute. On the top here, I have a blanket, which is just navy, white, and gray as well, that I just put up there basically for looks. I've never actually used it on him. To the left of the window is his monitor that we use um, when he's napping or when he's asleep at night, just to keep an eye on him. And then right in front of the crib, oh yes, I show you. Here's the outside of the bedding. It has little gray bows. It's so cute. And then below that is like a fluffy gray rug. 
So on the wall to your left when you walk in, right beside the crib, but of course not on top of the crib. That's why I don't have anything on this wall because I don't want it to fall down on his crib. But to the left, I have a little white shelf, which has a wooden W. And then a cute little picture frame that says little squirt. I'm still been meaning to put a picture in there of him now, but it just I think it's really sweet that there's a picture of his ultrasound picture in there. And then on the shelf, there is a cute little navy blue. It's um, a piggy bank. And to the right of that is a photo album that says baby. And then there is another window, which this has the same curtain on it. My aunt made those as well. Nothing here. And then I have his little hamper, which is so cute. <clears throat> Just has little arrows on it, and it's gray, which I actually got my baby shower, and it matched perfect. I was super happy about that. And then to the left of that hamper is his dresser. He has a really cute little whale nightlight. And then these cute blocks. I got these from an Etsy shop, which I will link down below because they did so, so good on his blocks. I absolutely love them. Um, basically, it's just like a wooden block with like this. I don't know exactly what that is on top. I guess it's just like a piece of somewhat paper and it spells out his name. To the right of that is his sound machine. And that's all we have on the top of his dresser. And above the dresser, we have this cute little whale picture. So I thought I would show you guys inside his dresser to show y'all what I have done. In the top drawer, these are like um, the cloth diapers, which I use if I run out of burp cloths. Next to them, we have his burp cloth and his bibs. And to the right of that, this is all receiving blankets. He got so many receiving blankets at our shower. Um, but I gave some away, I put some back, and then the rest I put in the drawer. In the second drawer, on this side is his pants, and on this side is his shorts. And I will say this, some of his, which I'll show you when we get to the closet, some of his bigger clothes are put in a tote, just trying to save space and not make everything so crowded. In the next drawer, we have these cute little, I'm not really sure, I think they're called like blanket animals. He got a lot of those. I think there's like four or five in there. So they're there. His little bathrobe, which he really doesn't wear that often because it's more not very practical, but oh my gosh, he is so cute in it. So I will put it on him every now and again. And to the left of that is his little football outfits that you put on to take pictures, which I did for his one month pictures. And then, <clears throat> and then his, all of his um, beanies are here, which he probably won't even be able to wear this winter. The last drawer is kind of just a junk drawer is what I call it. Basically, we have in this aquarium, but it's so annoying because the crib we have, the only place I can put it is on the sides. Because if you see here, he's so thick, the top of that is, and it's kind of the same on the other side. And so it won't fit only on the side. So I'll wait until it gets a little bit bigger to put that back in there. And the next thing we have, which is really cute, I'm going to get done, is an engraved photo frame. It has a time, date, weight, length, and birth record of. So I really want to take that and get that engraved. The next thing I have in here is where you make their hand prints and like the clay so i'm really happy to do that but the reason we haven't done it yet is because just just note that that we have not done that yet and i will prove to you why in just a moment the next thing is a christmas ornament that you put their handprint on i have decided that i'm going to wait until christmas gets here to do his handprint to know exactly how big his hand was and put how old he is for this christmas this next little tote just has random junk in it, it has diaper bags that you put dirty diapers in. It has some boogie wipes, brush, passies, just extra stuff in there. <clears throat> and on the last wall, when you come in, we have a little like coat rack. I don't have any coats on it because it's 98 degrees outside right now, so I just thought I would put his hats on it. So he has a little gap hat, which is still too big. Some little beach hats and his belt. <clears throat> Beside that, 
you enter his closet. So, when you first walk in his closet on the floor, you see a hamper. This is where I put his towels, any sheets that he has that's dirty, anything other than basically clothes, burp cloths, or bibs. To the left, I have a high chair that I haven't got to really use yet. He isn't quite big enough for the high chair, so I've just kept that in here. And I actually got this um, from my boss, and it matches all of our stuff, which is super cool. To the left of that is my bathtub box, which I'm super, super happy that I kept because I'm just really not happy with the bathtub. It just doesn't quite work like I had hoped that it would. So we are going to take that back to Babies R Us. On top of that, I just put his extra diaper genie bags. In the right of the closet are totes. This top tote on the right is the bigger clothes I was telling y'all about um, that I have in totes in his closet. The one under that is clothes that's too small or extra like diapers that were too small. We had to move to the next size up. On the left on the top are all his blankets. The one under that is my maternity clothes, and the one under that is when I tried to breastfeed and it didn't work out. We had some breastfeeding stuff, as well as other bits and pieces that he doesn't either use anymore. That's too small for him as well. So moving up to the top left of the closet is some gun cases of Sean's. I don't really know why it's still in here, but it is. And the left of that is a little bag full of receipts of his stuff. And then we stocked up on a lot of diapers before he was born. And so this is what we have left. I have one box of twos left, two huge boxes of threes. It's like three little bags of threes and two little bags of four. So we've actually only had about like two little bags since we've had him, which has been great. And then to the right, this box on the left, the navy one has toys in it. And the box to the right, which is gray, has all stuffed animals, which you can see is overloaded. Okay, now to the greatest part, the clothes. So I kept these three onesies out because I'll show you. <clears throat> this is the onesie that we used to announce that we were pregnant. And it ended up being, he was born in March, but he was due in April. And so I left that out. And I also left out these two. Because this is what Weston wore home from the hospital. It's so tiny. And this one as well. So I'm going to make a shadow box for him. So I just left those out to put in there. The next thing is just a bunch of extra hangers where I've took some of his smaller clothes down. And then it goes into onesies. This is all zero to three months that I'm showing you right now. And then it has the little short outfits and t-shirts and jackets. <clears throat> all zero to three months. Move to the next section, sleepers, shirts, onesies, and then those are three to six months. And then the very back corner are some gowns, which I've actually not been a huge fan of, but I have kept them there just in case. This continues on the three to six month outfits, and then down the very end is uh, a little bit bigger clothes that I just got recently or someone gave me, so I just hung them up there. And I did forget to mention down here is an extra diaper bag that my mom got me and then my monthly um monthly board to say what he likes in the month that he is for his pictures and that is his entire closet and last but not least is this little bitty wall to the left of when you come in and this is why i was telling you i was going to wait to do the um, cement handprint is because we tried to do these handprints when he was really, really young, like a newborn. And you can see a little bit of the green, and that's his handprint. And so you got Sean's mine, Weston's, so we hung that up here because it's still so cute. And then to the bottom of that, I have my diaper genie. And so that is it. So I will show you all one more time.
I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I love his nursery and I hope that you all do too. Um, I'm going to leave everything that I can that's in his nursery in the description box below in case you all want to check it out. Please subscribe and leave me some comments. I would love to chat with you guys and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!